Hi guys, I don't know if you can tell from the background behind me, but I am currently in New York. I'm on a solo trip here. So for context, I have been invited to the YouTube Creator Summit. This is my creator badge. Very cute, very official. It doesn't feel like I'm actually here because it's just like so picture perfect. So the first part of the trip is going to be the YouTube Creator Summit. I'm kind of nervous about it because I don't know anyone attending. I'm sure it'll be fine. And then after that, I am literally solo, taking on the whole of New York by myself. And that's going to be a whole nother set of challenges. I literally arrived like an hour ago and I've just been like chilling here settling in freshening it up and just like taking in the view I cannot believe this is my view today is the day of the party where everyone's gonna be there and we're all gonna meet I've got my dress ready so I'm gonna have food and then get ready I don't know what to expect feeling a bit nervous but I think I'll be fine we shall see okay it's all right it's all right hi yes Thank you so much. And the food has arrived. Okay, I got pizza and I got pasta. Just all the carbs, baby. After I've eaten all the carbs, I'm gonna get in this baby. It's quite cute. I've already ironed it. I just need to eat, put makeup on, and we're good to go. I feel like I'm being a proper introvert right now. I'm getting room service before a party. Let's try the pizza. Mmm, that was really good. This is the stuff that's really out of my comfort zone. I don't really put myself in situations where there's like going to be lots of people that I don't know. Solo traveling is one thing and I'm okay with that. I feel like I've gotten used to that. But being in a room full of people I don't know and feeling that pressure to have to like be entertaining and be engaging, it almost feels a bit performative. I'm like trying to get people to like me. Usually when I go to these things, when I'm actually in it, I'm fine. The mental buildup for me is like, I don't know, I just feel quite like anxious. Right now I'm trying to do do all the things I can to like bring me back to like my comfort. I've got like pizza and pasta that I'm eating on my bed. I don't know, there's just like a lot of mental gymnastics that goes into these kind of things. This feels like a really cool opportunity to meet so many cool creators and just have like really good conversations. Everyone's here to meet people, so it's like a nice environment to be in. But I think moving forward, I am going to say yes to more of these kind of like social situations. It's actually killing me that I don't have cutlery right now and I can't have it. I have cutlery! We are very late on schedule. Shall we try the pasta? It looks so good. It's no longer hot. Mmm, that's so good. Now I'm in my zone. I'm no longer feeling awkward and uncomfortable. I'm like ready to party, baby. This is really cute. They put a sticker on here that says number one comfort YouTuber. Apparently every creator has a different sticker. And for me, they put number one comfort YouTuber, which is like so sweet. I have remarkably gotten ready on time. This is my outfit. I feel really cute. I don't know if you can see my shoes. I'm now gonna head downstairs. Let's go. <laughs> Do you live in London? spent this morning just like sorting my life out, washing all the clothes from my trip, feeding myself, washing. You might have noticed I'm in a very different background. This is my new bedroom. I've been here for a month. You'll see all the vlogs and everything like that on the main channel. I haven't spoken to you like this in a good little while. Probably a bad time to do this because I am actually running late. I don't want this to be part of my brand, but I am worried that it is. I am going to my friend's birthday party today. But I haven't even figured out what I'm going to wear. I haven't even done my hair. I have done my makeup though. And also I realized that rhyme. Anyway, I've come back to autumn. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful day today, but I feel like it might still be cold because I was thinking, should I get wear a dress? Oh gosh, but I feel like it might be too cold. Do you see my dilemma, guys? It's hard, honestly. Dressing yourself is very hard. Also, I have not done a good job of like putting my clothes out. There's like a bunch of clothes just like I've shoved in a corner. So I love that for me. I'm gonna wear this skirt. Oh, she's stunning, she is. With this vest jumper thing. Very cute, very nice. Wear my gold hoops, because I'm really into the gold hoops at the moment. I bought them from New York, they're very cute. You'll see it in the vlog when it eventually comes out in like two months. <laughs> Maybe I can wear my denim jacket. A bit of different textures, you know what I mean? Layering, we are in autumn. That could be a vibe. Oh my God, that's why my friend being like, where the hell are you? So I'm gonna quickly get changed. I'm just gonna naturally dry my hair. I don't think there's time to like blow dry it. And then I will give you an update of my outfit. This is the outfit. Let's see if it works with a jacket. Oh, it's not the coziest. I am a cozy, cozy gal, but I am going to a party. And I think at a party you're meant to like make more effort. My hair is still not super dry. But I think it's fine. You know what? I think this actually works. 
What do you guys think? Do you like it? If you don't, don't let me know because I'm sensitive. I'm joking, you can. Give me tips. Oh, earrings. I need earrings. They're basically gold hoops and I love them. I know that this isn't the style of earrings Jasmine from Aladdin War, the princess, but it kind of gives me that kind of vibe. I'm not used to wearing earrings ever and it takes me ages to even find my ear hole thing. Ow, ow, ow. And sometimes I just force it through. No pain, no gain, people. Okay, we're in. And here we have it, some gold hoops. I am way, way late. My friend's gonna hate me. Hopefully I have a lovely time at this party. I'm not really a party gal. I don't really know many people going other than my friend and another friend. I'm trying to put myself out there more in spaces that I don't know many people and hopefully try to make friends and things like that. And the way to do that is to go to parties. We shall see what this new chapter is like. I was gonna say I'll update you on how it goes, but knowing me, I'll probably forget. I hope I have a great time. Yay, okay. See you guys later, bye. <laughs> Hello, I am back. Update on the party, it was really fun. It was really lovely to celebrate my friend's birthday with her friends. It's always really interesting because I feel like with my friends, their friends say so much about them. My friends are very eclectic. They're from like all over the world. They're very different personalities. The one common denominator is that everyone's just very like open and sweet and kind. One thing my friends said when they came to my birthday party was like, the way you met everyone is so random. A lot of the times, especially since moving to London, I literally make my friends in the most random parts of my life. I think the way my life is set up, there's not a lot of like circumstances where I get to see the same person again and again naturally, unless I create that that environment. Like I don't work in an office where I'm seeing my colleagues every day. If I'm going to be friends with someone, I got to make friends with them straight away and then make that effort. And I've just gotten so used to doing that that I don't feel weird about that anymore. And some of my friends I've met like on a plane, out on the street, on a shoe. With a lot of my friends, their friends tend to be like very similar personality types to them. So like my friend works in tech and pretty much most of the people in that room were people in tech and they had kind of similar personality to her. And then I have another friend who's like really extroverted and outgoing at her party they were all very loud and like not loud that sounds negative but like they were very extroverted social people but a lot of people their friends are like an extension of their personality and I feel like a lot of people like making friends with people who have similar interests for me it's more important that I make friends with people who have similar values to me so like people who are like open-minded honesty are very like positive caring loving but beyond that I don't really care what you do how you live your life you do you I do me as long as we support each other we're all good a lot of you guys know my friends moon we are so different but it's never been an issue because we both care for each other she's actually gonna be here in a few weeks so that's very exciting. Anyway, that was like a really long tangent and not why I turned on the camera. Oh, by the way, I am wearing my Creator Summit hoodie. We got to personalize them, which was really cool. And I want to show you guys how I personalize mine. Here we got like, uh, is it like sewn on? Embroidered at Click the Taz, because that is, well, that's not this channel. This is Click on More Taz, but that is my main channel. And then at the back, we got some screen printing. Very, very cool. How cool is that? So yeah, I love this hoodie. It feels so nice on. Oh, this is quite long. This video is going to be so long. The whole point I even turn the camera on is that I don't have food so I basically need to go to the supermarket and do a bit of a food shop. I kind of want to have sushi tonight like that's what I'm craving. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a walk before the sun goes. Get my steps in, go for a nice walk and then go to the supermarket and get some ingredients for dinner tonight and breakfast tomorrow. And then what I want to do is this evening have like a really cozy night in. We're gonna have the mood lighting on. Maybe we can watch a scary movie. And by scary movie I mean like Halloween movies that are not scary like Hocus Pocus. So I feel like it's October now so I need to get into that like spooky spirit. Ignore what I previously said about going out. Turns out I got sad and I didn't leave the house. Bit too real there. Eh? Welcome to the second channel. I was meant to go on my hot girl walk. I was meant to go to the supermarket and get all the ingredients and cook myself dinner. Instead, I got really, really sad. Now I'm having Indian takeaway. And I'm watching the movie About Time, which I've never properly watched. Isn't that crazy? I've never properly watched it. I don't know if it's my time of the month. I don't know what it is. Something just hit me and I just got very, very emotional. And now I've got myself takeaway, which you know what? It's fine. You're allowed to treat yourself every now and again. I probably treat myself way more than I should. Oh my god, it smells incredible. Look how much stuff I've got. Bombay potatoes, Madras chicken curry, and I got dal and spinach curry. I got three different curries. Obviously, I'm just gonna keep it for another day. Or, oh, I don't know, we can see how much damage I make today. And I got two different types of rice, which now that I'm looking at it, there's actually not that much difference between them. This is pilau rice, and this is just plain basmati rice. And we've got papadam. Yay! Mmm, I'm feeling so much better already. I think I'm gonna go in with a pilau rice first. Oh gosh, I love watching plate my dinner with me videos. I don't know, there's something about it. It's just very satisfying. And that's what this is. Okay, we're gonna go with the chicken curry first. Let's see how spicy it is. 
Oh, Ooh, it hits you at the end though. Oh, it really does hit you at the end. It doesn't taste spicy, but you feel the burn of it. Oh, it's like the opposite. Because you want it to taste spicy, but not have the burn. Oh well, this is so good. So I got some spinach and dal. Let's see if this is spicy. I don't think so. Mmm. Ooh. So I get some spinach in me. We love that. I'm gonna have so much left over, which is great. Oh, also, instead of going to the supermarket, I did an online order instead. So we shall see what state the items come in in the morning. You know what's ironic? I reckon if I actually went on my hot girl walk in the sun, because it was actually quite sunny today, I probably would have felt better. But instead, we're staying home with some mood lighting, an Indian takeaway, baby. Ooh, that looks amazing. This is so much better than struggling with massive shopping bags and crying as I walk down the street. That looks sensational. Don't mind my washing. I still haven't done anything with my TV. My TV's on the floor because I have nowhere else to put it. Let's watch it. Oh, look at the mood lighting. Isn't this nice? I kind of want to decorate with candles, like pumpkin spice candles and stuff. That would be cute. For now, we're just going to eat. Oh, he's going to try and get there before her. The food shop has arrived. I now have like fresh fruit and veg. Got lots of rice and smoked salmon. Oh, and I got myself some sushi nori. It feels so good to have food in the house. And the plan today is to go to a Lego store, which is quite fun. For my friend's birthday, I'm gifting her a Lego set, which we can build together. I feel like as you get older, it becomes harder to gift people stuff. I think what I prefer is like experiences. So what I thought was maybe we can just like get a Lego set and we can build that together. And that could be like a lovely bonding experience. So yeah, I'll bring you guys with me. We'll go to Lego store, which is very exciting. It's the one in Leicester Square. If you're from London, you will know this store is huge. I don't even know how we're gonna pick one. And then I'm spending the evening at my other friends. We're gonna have pie. It's very cozy vibes at the moment. Lots of lovely plans with friends this weekend, which is lovely. <laughs> Sorted. Got myself mochi. How do you like yours? Yeah, it's really nice. I like this one too. And it's a sunny day in London. Wow, this is the most quintessential British London thing. This one's cool, but it's very... Um, These are too Christmassy. My love language is gift giving, can you tell? Yeah. Just a little bit. I get so happy from it. This one's really cool. Okay, let's not get distracted. I like the flowers. You can put it in your... Your living room is quite big. But they look like it's more like a puzzle than a Lego thing. Oh, it's very nice. This is my style. Yeah. Okay, I found my actual dream one. Oh, that's quite nice. 21,000 pieces? No, 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 that's the code number. That's how many pieces. Oh. <laughs> this is the one I would like to do. Yeah. And I've got bougie taste, clearly. This Without is... thinking of anything, this is the one you want. Yeah, this is Okay, nice then let's get this. Yay, how exciting. And I actually like you chosen because I wouldn't have chosen something like this. This is very you, actually. Like this. Yeah, you're right. You never take oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute, yay. Do you know when you're a kid and you wanted ice cream yeah. and no one would get it? Now I'm the adult yeah. that can get myself ice cream. I this all the time. Oh, I love how you're holding it too. Well, that's what I'm using. And now I'm texting like you. We're clicking. Oh no, I want to be here for all the stages. So this is how much progress we made so far because we were too busy yapping. This is the piano. Is that what we made? Yeah, I think it's this. Oh, we haven't even made the piano. Wow, we really, we are so far behind. We made like that this. We made the stairs. We made the stairs. <laughs> we're like, oh, we made the piano, guys. Guys, you want to know how much progress we made? This is a whole set and we've literally just done this bit. We made the steps. I don't know how long it's going to take for us to finish all of this. We're going to be a while, but you know, fun, great times. My friend made chicken and mushroom pie with some broccoli. I love me some pie. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> wow. Home is kind of a mess. I think I'm gonna spend the next couple of hours just like sorting things out. The kitchen's a mess. I have like the washing that needs to be put away. I need to sort out the bedroom. So yeah, I'm gonna spend the next couple of hours just like cleaning the home space up so it doesn't stress me out to look at it. And then I'll feel like much calmer. So I've got my podcast of choice. I'm going through a real podcast phase at the moment. Like it's become almost like a hyperfixation. I am listening to so many podcasts about like a specific topic, things like emotional intelligence and healing and all of that fun stuff stuff like neuroscience stuff very into that at the moment i've got my podcast and i'm just gonna like smash everything out so let's do it i am struggling okay
Oh, this is such a big bed. Ow. Oh my God, I'm so tired. sushi making time i have my rice which i probably could put on here because it's steel nice i am quite hungry and the good thing about sushi is that it doesn't take that long i do like days like this where i do domestic stuff and initially i thought it was because i like domestic chores which would be very random i don't think i do <laughs> but i think what i like about it is that it allows me to live life at a slower pace like it's not very like target driven i feel like a lot of my life ironically a lot of my life that i don't show in vlogs is very deadline driven and it's very like fast paced and there's lots happening and the reason why i don't vlog is because that takes so much energy and time i wouldn't think to like bring a camera in there like if i'm doing meetings if i'm filming a video if i'm editing if i'm going out about for meetings i think like if there's lots of things like that or going to events where I'm like actively participating in the event I'm not like vlogging all of that sort of stuff so like whenever I have tasks I would not vlog because I'm so focused on a task oh my god my accent is changing I just said task and not task believe it or not guys I am Welsh Welsh people would say task but now I say task wow London has really got to me anyway I'm getting distracted I have noticed that whenever I have tasks that are very deadline driven or like have a certain level of not intensity but like <sighs> adrenaline I guess I won't vlog it because I'm like focused on the thing and a lot of my life is very like deadline based and the next thing what's the next thing the next thing next thing and there's so many things I'm doing all the time simultaneously when I get days like this where all I have to do is clean my environment and feed myself I think I really appreciate or I've grown to appreciate it much more it's also perspective right if I didn't have the intensity and chaoticness in my life especially with all the move recently and all the traveling and stuff it's just been very busy and chaotic if I didn't have that aspect of my life I wouldn't appreciate this as much so it could also be that I'm wanting balance whereas like if I did this all the time I don't think I would appreciate that much I'd probably find it quite boring I posted on my Instagram because I'm posting a lot more short form content lately which I'm really enjoying making so as much as I say like I like to be chill and slow down I've literally created another aspect of work for myself where I'm creating content in a different form but I'm enjoying it so it's not like a negative thing but uh where was I going with this but yeah I posted shorts of me moving and the comments are like whoa you move so much you you guys are just watching me move and you guys are like finding it overwhelming and like it's a lot imagine being the one doing it i think sometimes people think like i'm doing all these moves out of my choice they're like oh i couldn't do that when you're in a situation where you don't have the choice you kind of have to just like do it in other aspects of my life that's always how i've had to deal with things like things just happen and i just have to show up and i just have to get on with it and do it so when i have aspects of my life where there isn't that pressure like there's no time limit on when i make food right now or how long i need to take to clean the home when I do have that aspect of it where there isn't that kind of pressure, I really like relish in that. But I have to like set time for it. Like today's my domestic day. Starting from tomorrow, I'm going to get back into the swing of things and do all the other things that I need to do. This sounds very boring. I don't even know where I'm going with this, but basically I guess what I'm expressing is gratitude for moments like this and how as I've gotten older, I've learned to appreciate the slower pace of life way more. And I definitely didn't do that growing up. That's basically what I'm getting from this. It's a bit random, but um, I made one sushi roll. Oh, I'm so excited these are beautiful so so pretty and as always i am going to be having it with chili oil which is probably so bad for my body but clearly we'll never learn i feel so much better now when i woke up this morning the home was a mess there were just so many things everywhere that needed to get done everything's tidy everything's where it needs to be and now i'm gonna have my lunch in peace and then tomorrow we're gonna start off the week back into work mode but at least we're starting it with a clean home and being well fed with good food i am now gonna have dinner I'm gonna leave the vlog here. Next week is very exciting. I'm excited to vlog that for you because lots of cool things are happening. This week was very much about just like settling back into the routine of things, be more calm, organizing my life. And then next week we do fun things again. Yay! So this is fun too. Anything is fun if you have the right mindset. I'm now gonna eat, which is gonna be very, very fun for me. Let me try one on. Mmm. Oh my god. So good. Okay, I'm gonna absolutely inhale this. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thanks so much for watching and coming along with me and seeing the new home. I hope you like my new space for I don't know how long we shall see life just keeps throwing curveballs and i just keep going along with it i will see you guys very soon thank you so much for watching love you guys bye